Wildfires are natural events as old as the land itself. Every year, wildfires in the United States burn millions of acres of forests and grasslands. Today, thousands of people live in areas where these natural wildfires have historically shaped the landscape over the centuries. Problems arise when residents do not know how to live compatibly with wildfire in an area known as the Wildland Urban Interface. This particular structure was an L-shaped structure that came out to this open area in the front. Uh, behind it was the backdrop of the hill, uh, and it had the natural vegetation for the area. Unfortunately, it was too close to the house, uh, and it created an indefensible space for our crews to get in and protect the structure. The loss of homes amounts to a problem of national scale, but one that can be solved only at the local level. First of all, you have to get the citizens involved. It can't be agency driven. It has to, we have to have grassroots support from planners uh, in the planning community, from mayors, councilmen, neighborhood groups, and you have to get buy-in. For over 10 years, the National Firewise program has provided homeowners with the knowledge and techniques necessary to create an environment so their homes can survive a wildfire. Firewise is like a clearinghouse. They, they get all the good information, what's working, what's not working. And so that's where it's really been an advantage for us to participate in the program. In 2001, the Federal Register published a list of 11,000 communities determined to be at risk Yet the fire season occurs around the country at different times each year, making nearly all communities at risk to wildfire. One of the difficulties of the wildland urban interface is that it cannot be defined as a geographic location, but a set of conditions that can exist anywhere. But the good news, however, is that homes don't have to burn. The Firewise Communities USA program encourages homeowners to take the initiative in protecting themselves and their homes as they continue to enjoy the beauty of nature and the reasons they came to live in these areas around the country. The Firewise Communities USA recognition draws on a community spirit, its resolve, and its willingness to take responsibility for its ignition potential. It provides national recognition to homeowners by rewarding their efforts to protect their homes from wildfire. Communities that are firewise are active, dynamic, and attractive places to live. Becoming a firewise community USA requires the commitment and cooperation of civic leaders, fire staff, and homeowners. By addressing local wildfire issues, individuals and neighborhoods across America are encouraged and acknowledged. The Firewise Communities USA program helps communities address their unique wildland urban interface fire issues by promoting self-sufficiency and interagency cooperation. Becoming Firewise is a process, and like many processes, it is most effective when begun at the smallest scale. A participating Firewise Community USA need not be an incorporated jurisdiction. Any neighborhood, subdivision, or homeowner association may participate by reducing the threat of wildfire to their homes by charting their own course at their own pace. Becoming recognized as a Firewise Community USA begins when the homeowners recognize the wildfire threat and decide to accept and share the responsibility to make necessary changes. Once a community decides to adopt a Firewise attitude, it sets a continuum of Firewise plans and practices into action. Participating communities are encouraged to create the best combination of local solutions. By adopting programs of education and action, specific wildfire protection challenges are addressed. Wildland urban interface residents are well-educated people who seek factual information to help them make good firewise choices. Firewise communities also learn from each other by sharing their information and achievements. Achieving recognition as a Firewise Community USA means that the community has met five basic standards. Complete a community hazard assessment. Create a Firewise organization. Observe a Firewise day. Financial commitment. And 
annual report and renewal application. Meeting these standards helps instill the principles of FireWise into the existing community values. The FireWise Communities USA concept and template has already been completed in several pilot communities across the United States. Like your community, each pilot site is unique in physical characteristics and in its approach to garnering civic interest and commitment. The flexibility of the FireWise program proved to be a motivating factor for each of the pilot sites. The first step is to complete a hazard assessment with the cooperation of a wildland urban interface specialist. This assessment is used to create a plan that identifies locally agreed upon achievable solutions that the community can implement. Well, assessment is an inventory of the area in order to determine, you know, how bad the fire hazard is, what areas that we need to treat, and, uh, and then after we do an assessment, then we have the ingredients to put together a plan. At an agreed upon time, a wildland urban interface specialist schedules a site visit and gathers information. The visit is coordinated with local fire officials. Having a recent history of serious wildfire damage, the Ormond Beach, Florida Fire Department helped the Briargate subdivision become the first site to be constructed to firewise specifications. Well, we really don't know whether we have a problem unless we conduct an assessment. And what we use is what's known as the NFPA uh, 299 standard, what's the National Fire Protection Association standard. And that allows us to look at the, uh, the fuels, uh, look at the demography, and make an assessment as to whether or not this community would be at risk. After a community assessment, the FireWise work group helped create a blueprint of action items for subsequent FireWise pilot projects. The work group was also successful in locating a million gallon water tank and three man-made lakes for firefighting resources and thinning common area pine forests. The 25-year-old community of Sorrel Springs located in Frenchtown, Montana is still developing as new homes are being constructed within its borders. In May of 2001, a FireWise Community USA assessment was conducted and a $50,000 grant for brush thinning was awarded to the Frenchtown Fire District by the Montana Department of Natural Resources. Throughout the year, progress was made in local fuel modification. Second step is the creation of a permanent local FireWise task force, committee, commission, or department that will function as the focal point for FireWise efforts and be responsible for maintaining the FireWise Community USA program, tracking its progress, and reporting its status. All successful sites formed an interdisciplinary FireWise board, commission, or committee. Regardless of its name, the local organization includes homeowners, fire professionals, planners, land managers, urban foresters, and or members of other interest groups. Potential board members are expected to commit up to six months of time to develop a local wildland urban interface plan. Located near Prescott, Arizona, the community of Timber Ridge began approximately 18 years ago and is still growing. The homes are close enough together to affect each other should ignitions occur. Therefore, it was important to the community to begin the FireWise process. Upon completion of the site assessment, the local FireWise board uses the evaluation to create agreed upon area-specific solutions to its wildland urban interface fire issues. Their recommendations are presented to and approved by the Wildland Urban Interface Specialist, who may work with the community to identify project implementation funds. Local solutions are implemented according to a schedule designed by the local FireWise Board and Interface Specialist. In Timber Ridge, the Homeowners Association appointed a FireWise Committee, created a lot inspection program organized a pine needle cleanup in common areas, incorporated fire resistant signage, and provides FireWise information to homeowners through email. The third requirement of FireWise communities is to observe a FireWise Communities USA Day each spring 
that is dedicated to a local FireWise project. The public event should be designed to increase awareness throughout the community about fire ecology, FireWise techniques, landscaping demonstrations, or provide an opportunity for homeowners to share information and skills. Since its beginnings in the 1970s, the residents of Sundance, Utah, have had a high awareness of wildland urban interface fire issues. The FireWise community efforts have provided improved public safety service for emergency or disaster events, a fuels management program, an emergency action plan, and continuing education for the citizenry, volunteers, and professionals. In Glendale, California, the subdivision of Whiting Woods lies at the base of nearly vertical hillsides of the Vertigo Mountains. The residents of Whiting Woods understand that they live in a high hazard area for wildland fire, and thus they were quick to address safety issues in several FireWise projects. Due in part to its FireWise participation, the Homeowners Association was awarded a grant by the California Fire Safe Council to develop a community plan a fuel reduction plan, and an information and education program. Participating communities meet standard number four by investing a minimum of $2 annually per capita in local FireWise Communities USA efforts. These funds remain in the community and they are not necessarily cash. Work by municipal employees or volunteers using municipal and other equipment can be counted, as can state or federal grants dedicated to that purpose. Wedgefield, a 5,000-acre development east of Orlando, Florida, is at risk of wildfire activity due to accumulated vegetative fuels compounded by lack of fire hydrants and the fact that the nearest fire station is 10 miles away. A board was created, assessments were conducted, and plans were implemented that reduced fuels on both developed and undeveloped lots, educated homeowners in basic fire safety, adapted firewise oriented codes and covenants, and ultimately created a community fuel break. Near Santa Fe, New Mexico, Hyde Park Estates and Aztec Springs are composed of 73 homes and roughly 200 residents. In May of 2001, a group of 25 citizens met with forestry representatives to discuss implementation of the FireWise Communities USA pilot project. After an assessment, the group divided the community into clusters to improve communication, created a community evacuation plan, and held a chipping day in which large amounts of brush were removed. Finally, the local FireWise board or committee completes the last standard by submitting an annual report documenting compliance with the program. Each year, every recognized community must renew its commitment to FireWise by reapplying and documenting its continuing efforts to reduce the wildfire hazard. FireWise Communities USA recognition is granted after an implementation plan has been presented to the local FireWise representative and at least one FireWise event or project has been completed. Continued participation in the program requires the adherence to the local FireWise plan and ongoing FireWise community maintenance. Once a community is recognized as a FireWise community, they are awarded with a recognition kit of signs, banners, flags, and other items so they can proudly demonstrate the benefits of their efforts. In addition, recognized FireWise Communities USA participants may receive preferential consideration for mitigation grants and funding for continuing their work because remaining FireWise, like natural changes, is a continuing process. year 2000 when uh, the Los Alamos fires happened. Okay, this is, this is real, and it's gonna happen here. And we use that to, as an example to people uh, in the community that what happened in Los Alamos can happen right here.
Wildfires will happen, but homes can survive. Managing the wildland urban interface fire issue at home within a community is the key to creating a safer, more wildfire compatible America. If your community is interested in becoming FireWise, contact www.firewise.org/usa or your state forestry agency for more information.